Framingham State and Bay Path Elder Services held their second annual Pride Across Generations Dinner Gala. The event at FSU's McCarthy Center is part of Bay Path's LGBT Outreach Initiative, and the night was free and open to the public. This year's theme was LGBTQ plus equality and diversity in the workforce. Featured speakers included State Representative Kate Hogan, Doug Peck, Grace Moreno, and FSU student Jace Williams. Topics included recruitment and retention of LGBTQ plus employees, programs to welcome and engage this population, and opportunities for older workers as they prepare to retire while maintaining their independence. Tonight, uh, we are hosting the second annual Pride Across Generations uh, intergenerational LGBTQ plus banquet. Um, we're in the forum at Framingham State University. And this is event, uh, an event that was meant to bring together members of the LGBTQ plus community across all living generations uh, to celebrate their stories and their journeys. It's really a myth sometimes that people think there are not gay lesbian, transgender folks over the age of 60, but there are. We do serve people across the spectrum in terms of ages. So this partnership with Framingham State is really great because we get to integrate the kids with older adults. We get to hear from the kids who get to hear from the older adults, and it's just a win-win for all. Framingham State um, has been a really close community. Every time that a student has raised an issue with something. The school has come together to support everyone. Recently, transgender students were uncomfortable with uh, their legal names being on their IDs, and they came up with a way to have preferred names on their student IDs. October 11th um, is an important day to acknowledge because it's National Coming Out Day. And today, October 11th, 2018, is the 30th National Coming Out Day. Um, the first was held in 1988 on the one-year anniversary of the 1987 Seven, uh, March on Washington for Gay and Lesbian Rights. They asked me to come and speak, and so I'm going to talk about uh, discrimination and anti-discrimination laws that have been passed by the legislature over the last three or four decades. And I know that so many people in the room will be a part of it and have been a part of those struggles. And there are, pe there are young people in the room that are here and will be hearing about it for the first time. So we're really excited to, to talk about uh, our history and what that means for the people in this room and for the Commonwealth. Having a state representative here and supporting us, that's so cool because politics is where we get things done. Just know that at the state level, the politics level, what we have here is still spreading. It is exceptionally important for the youth and for all eligible voters to go out and vote. It's just so nice to know that we live in a society that is good and caring for each other.